Do you know what your average first frost date is and why you should even care? I'm Angela from Botanical Interests and I'm here in my greenhouse this evening thinking about my fall plans and thinking about my first frost date, which is coming up. Your first frost date is the average day in the year that you can expect frost in your location. It varies zip code by zip code and because it's an average, it's not exactly precise, but it gives you an estimation for when you can expect frost. Frost which will damage your plants, end many of their life cycles, and signifies the change in seasons from one to the next in the garden. So why should we care? Well, in my opinion, they're an incredible planning tool checking out what your average first frost date is now is a good thing even if you're an experienced gardener and you think you know what it's been for a long time. First of all it helps me for example I garden with lots and lots of perennials so one of the things that I do is I time a good delivery of compost right around my average first frost date. I'm going to start preparing my beds and preparing my plants for the winter and applying compost is part of that. So it just gives me a target point. But also if you are planting a winter crop, for example, um, or fall sown vegetables, you need to know your average first frost date so that you can count back and get them into the ground in time so that your plants will get to maturity before you start to get killing frosts. And every seed packet when you're buying winter vegetables like this frost tolerant kale will tell you on the back it'll have instructions for how many days back how many weeks back from your average first frost date you should get those seeds into the ground or into a seed tray or however it is recommended that you start those seeds so your average first frost date is actually really important, especially if you're going to plan a fall garden. It's also really great. I love fall planting and knowing my average first frost date gives me a sense for how long into the season I can still put plants in the ground because in the fall, the soil is nice and warm and those little roots can just reach out into the soil very easily. So I actually really love to plant perennials in my landscape um, in the fall. Also, they're often on sale. So that is a really great place. I know I have about three or four weeks after my average first frost date that I can still plant in the garden, which is great. That gets me to the end of October. And I planted an entire garden bed last year on Halloween and it all came back in the spring and looked fantastic. So I will tell you, it's a great little tool. Had I done that a couple of weeks later, it would have been a different story. So I use my average first frost date in a variety of ways. And it really is a planning tool for me as I think about my garden and putting it all to bed for winter. As frost comes to you, wherever you are in the country, look up your zip code and find out what your average first frost date is. Check it out. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy gardening.